Hey, what's up everyone? Crypto Henry here. And in this video, we are going to talk about BFI Finance and how can you leverage BFI Finance to get the most from your yield farming. In when you do like yield farming, you want to maximize your yields at the lowest risk, of course. And BFI Finance will help you to find the best yield farming strategies and at the same time keep a low risk of course if you want to risk more you can risk more for higher yields but beefy finance will give you a dashboard that will help you to understand these risks such as like smart contract risk impermanent loss risks and so on and beef finance will give you all the data that you need in the same place and i will show you in a minute how to use it so without further ado let's get straight into it beefy finance and first of all how does it work okay so beefy finance is very similar to uh yearn finance all right beefy finance how does it work so we have here alice alice is our investor liquidity provider yield farmer whatever you want to call it and Alice is going to deposit an asset, can be like a stable coin, can be different cryptocurrencies. In this case, for our demo today, we are going to deposit ETH, but of course you can try and explore other cryptocurrencies, other tokens. She is going to deposit ETH into the Bifi ETH vault that is connected to Aave. Bifi is compatible with a number of different chains, including Phantom, BNB Chain, Avalanche, Optimism, Arbitrum, and so on. When she deposits this ETH into the Bifi vault, she will receive Moo tokens. Moo tokens, okay? That will represent her deposit into this Bifi vault. What's going to happen behind the scenes is that Bifi is going to deposit this ETH into another protocol. In this case, it's going to deposit it into Aave and is going to uh, get a loan in ETH, going to deposit again, going to get another loan, going to deposit again in order to maximize the yield that you could get from Aave. Now, these strategies, all the strategies that you see on Bifi Finance, on Yearn Finance, you could do also, you could do them manually, but manually it will require a lot of work and a lot of transaction fees. While if you do it using Bifi Finance, they will automate everything. You will save a lot of money in gas fees because they will batch a number of uh, the transactions together to, to make the transaction fees cheaper. And also, whenever these protocols where they deposit the ETH, whenever they pay rewards and things like that, they will simply auto-compound those rewards or sell the rewards to buy more ETH to deposit it again. So it will automate auto-compounding and maximize the yields that you could earn, otherwise just doing it uh, manually. All right, so here on the BFI dashboard, as you can see here, you have many, many different strategies. You have here on the top left corner of each strategy, the network where these strategies are um, working. So you have Kava, you have uh, Moonriver or Moonbeam in this case, uh, Optimism, Arbitrum, uh, Phantom, many uh, Polygon, many other chains, and you have the protocol that they are interacting with. SushiSwap, StellarSwap, Velodrome, Balancer. Usually, whenever you have to tokens, these strategies are about being a liquidity provider in a DEX, in a decentralized exchange. And when you have one single token, you are a liquidity provider in either a lending protocol or in um, a bridge. Uh, in this case, Stargate, for example, is a cross-chain protocol. So if you have only one token and not two, you can come here and uh, select single assets. So single assets you have, you can provide only ETH or only BFI in this case, it seems that you only have a BFI or ETH. And uh, one more important thing here on the right side, you have a safety score. The safety score is the most important thing you need to look at I usually only interact with pro with uh, with protocols with strategies that have a safety score of eight or above. Some uh, protocols will show you lower safety scores, like if you're seven. And why why is it seven? Because 
high impermanent loss, interacts with algorithmic um, stable polarizing permanent loss risk, micro market capitalization, extreme volatil volatility asset. Okay, so probably you should avoid this one unless your risk appetite really tells you to do this one. Of course, here also, as you see, the yields are also pretty uh, high. Um, yeah, what else can you see here? So we have the APY, and usually these APYs also have a breakdown. For example, in this case, you have the Vault APR plus the trading APR. So the trading fees that you receive by providing liquidity to these, um, to these uh, DEX, to this swap. You have the daily APR or APY in this case, uh, annual percentage yield, 0.2237. In the TVL of the protocol. Usually, the higher the TVL, the more solid is the strategy. All right, but I only have ease, and I need to bridge my ease from the Ethereum network to Optimism. So let's go first bridge my Ether to Optimism, and then we can interact with this DeFi protocol because the strategy that you will, will be using uh, it's on Optimism. So let's go and bridge our ETH to Optimism. So I need to first send my Ether to Optimism. I'm going to connect my wallet here. So I want to deposit 0.03, uh, let's do 0.035 ETH into Optimism. And let's go ahead and click Deposit. Approve here on my wallet. There is a little bit of transaction fees. You need always to be mindful of the transaction fees that you pay because um, if you are doing like very small amounts, doing this taking or liquidity providing, uh, you need to see if it is really worth, you know, to spend the transaction fees comparing to the yield that, that you are going to receive. All right, I'm going to pause here just for a couple of minutes mm -hmm. and I will come back once the transaction is completed. All right, so we had to wait maybe approximately 15 minutes for our transfer from the Ethereum network to go to Optimism. These bridges usually take always a little bit of time, but yay, now we have our ease on Optimism. Optimism, as you probably know, it's an Ethereum layer two. So it's a, let's say a blockchain on the top of the Ethereum blockchain that relies on the Ethereum blockchain for security. All right, so we have completed bridging our ETH to Optimism. It took around 15 minutes to complete. And now that we have some ETH on Optimism, we can go here to our ETH Aave strategy. Let's select it. And uh, as you can see here, the yields may fluctuate a little bit. Let me select the one month. Uh, range. So the yield actually has been declining. It was a month ago 4%, 4.15%, and now it's 2.67%. Uh, you have here the uh, safety score. Uh, so 9.4 is pretty solid. And you have here the description of the strategy. So when a user deposits ETH into this vault, Biffy moves it into the protocol, Ave in this case, then borrows against the position at a safe level of collateral that is loan uh, of less than 100%. The borrowed ETH is then deposited into the same protocol, and this procedure is repeated multiple times in order to maximize interest earn earnings which are used to acquire more ease so it's basically it's going to leverage your ease position to get more yields from Ave, and it's everything automated by bfi by the way this is insured by nexus mutual it's a DeFi insurance protocol that is going to cover any incidents related to the smart contract finally also Important, there is a performance fee, 9.5%. So Bifi is going to charge you a performance fee of 9.5% of whatever are the profits, the yields that you generate from this strategy. But I'm okay with it considering that um, otherwise if I do this manually, I'll have to pay a lot of gas fees. I'll have to um, spend time. And in this case, I just deposit ETH into this strategy and I sit back and relax. So let's get into it. So I'm going to click here max. I'm not going to deposit max. I'm going to deposit only 0 
I want to leave a little bit of ease on my MetaMask wallet to pay future gas fees if I need it. And I'm going to click Deposit. So it's going to prompt the MetaMask wallet and I will pay a little bit gas fee, 0 0.06 cents. So let's go ahead and click Confirm. And deposit confirmed. So if we now go back to Vault, now you can see here that we have a deposit, 39.45 um, US dollars worth of ease. Uh, monthly yield, we will be earning 9 cents and the average APY 2.71%. Now, if I click here, my vaults, I will see my vault. I have deposited 0 0.03 here. Um, and I can click to see additional details. You see the amount deposited. And I can withdraw it anytime I want, right? If I want to withdraw it now, I could already, already withdraw it. And I have already a little bit yield here. So I have deposited 0 0.03. But I will now withdraw 0 0.03000039. Uh, so it's always generating more yield. You see, now it's even a little bit more. Of course, this is like very small, like it's like a fraction of a cent. But this is just to show you that it's always generating yield for you. You see, growing. Um, and unlike like a traditional bank where you deposit your uh, your money and they will pay you at the end of one or three or six months, in this case, they are always paying you every, I don't know, 10 seconds or something like that. Oh, finally, one more thing that I want to share with you is that, okay, on Bifi, you have here many different vaults, many different DeFi protocols that Bifi interacts with. And maybe you don't know if some of these are actually safe or not. So you can always come to DeFi safety. I always like to check DeFi safety to check the safety of the DeFi protocol that Bifi or Yarn is interacting with. So in this case, I already know that Aave is pretty solid, but you can search for Aave. Aave has a 94% score. Pass. Aave is super, super solid. It's one of the OGs in the lending space, in the DeFi space. But uh, some DeFi protocols have a pretty low score, maybe because they are not auditors or because they don't have the security controls in place. So as you can see here, there are pretty low score uh, DeFi protocols. So always try to uh, interact with DeFi protocols that were auditors, that have like all the safety controls in place, because if these controls are not in place, if they were not audited, if these DeFi protocols are not battle tested, you may eventually lose money when a hacker tries to take advantage of the vulnerability. So always make sure that these DeFi protocols are audited. Wait, wait, don't go away. After finishing the vi this video, I noticed that I need a little bit liquidity on Optimism to do another tutorial. So I'm actually going to withdraw straight away these uh, ETH that I have deposited into this Bifi Finance Vault. So I'm going to click withdraw. And as you see, we have already earned a little bit of ETH. Let's go ahead and click withdraw. It's going to prompt the MetaMask wallet, uh, five cents transaction fees, because on Optimism, trans transaction fees are very low. Awesome, done. So we should have our ease back to our wallet. Yes, it is here. And now I can go ahead and use this ease to the other tutorial that I'm going to prepare after recording this video. So now, finally, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.